Welcome back to my channel, In Flight Music. My name is Ian, and today I want to show you a patcher plugin by none other than Seamless. And if you're looking for more FL Studio and music production tips and tricks, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you are notified every time I make a new video. So in my last tutorial, I went over the new Flex preset pack, which was made by Seamless, and that made me want to venture off over to his channel and check out to see what else he's been doing lately. Not too long ago, I actually did a tutorial on the new plugin by Sicky Beats that he also made in Patcher, and you guys seem to like that tutorial, so I thought it would be interesting to go over these other Patcher plugins that were made by Seamless. So this first one is called Kickmaker, and it does exactly that. It makes kicks. So let's go ahead and put in a quick pattern here. Just going to fill every four steps and then we could use this pattern to just edit the sound as we tweak some of these knobs. So this is what it sounds like just by default when you load it up. So right off the bat, my first impression is that this is probably geared more towards EDM. But as you guys know, I'm more of an urban producer. So we're going to go in here and try to make a kick that's suitable for trap music. So this first section right here is the fundamental. So this is the body of the kick. After that, you have the click. And then after that, you have noise. You could think of the click as the transient. And you could think of the noise as the top end of the kick. And then here you actually have a reverb section. And that's really the dead giveaway that this is more for EDM than it is for urban music. So we're not going to mess around with the reverbs. We're just going to focus on the fundamental and the click and the noise. Also, I'll leave a link down below to his tutorials as well. He'll go for into much further detail than I do with the EDM side of things. So first thing that I want to do is turn off the click, turn off the noise, and then we also have this distortion section right here. I'm going to turn these off as well. And we're just going to focus on the fundamental. So next to the main volume knob, you have your reverb sends. And again, we're not going to mess with any reverbs. So the first slider that we have right here is the pitch. And then we have two sliders for speed, which I believe are dictating how fast the pitch is going down. And this next slider is ring, which I'm guessing is ring modulation. Like it right about there. Next slider is depth. And I think for trap, we want that turned all the way down as well. And then right here, you have attack and decay. I'm pretty sure we're going to want the attack all the way down so that it hits right away. Yeah, sure enough, when you increase the attack, the transient goes away. So let's leave that all the way down. And the decay is how long the kick lasts for. So you could use this to make some 808s as well. Yeah, you can make this pretty punchy. And I'm assuming this stands for phase. So depending on the relationship of the other sounds that we layer over this, we might adjust this phase a little later. Let's go ahead and adjust it now. We probably won't hear too much. So I was hearing a difference with the attack. So what I recommend is adjusting this phase so that you get the most power out of your transient. And then this is a low pass filter. So we're gonna use this to take out the rest of that ringing that we're hearing. Just be sure not to overdo it because if you go too low, you're gonna lose a lot of the kick. So now we have the attack, we have the body and no none of that ringing that we're hearing. Now I'm going to unmute this distortion right here and we're going to mess around with these saturation settings. Yeah. 
and that brought back some of the ringing again but right here we have distortion f and distortion f low pass so we're going to use this low pass filter to get rid of the ringing that was reintroduced when we added those harmonics back in and there we go and you also have a high pass filter for the distortion gonna put it right about there and then this is just the mix knob no distortion full distortion and I would say right there already you have a pretty good kick where I might add a wave shaper or I might add some additional compression maybe some para something parallel like parallel compression or parallel distortion just to make the kick a little beefier but let's go in and manipulate the click and see if we can get this to hit a little bit harder so already adding in that click I definitely don't like how it's sounding it's very digital so let's go into this section right here and manipulate how this click is sounding right here we have two pitch sliders And that got it to sound pretty clean. So without it, and with it, and then you could adjust the level overall. It's a very nice sounding kick so far. Now let's ad adjust this decay. Let's see what this click sounds like if we extend it out further. It gets very digital, so we're gonna leave this pretty low, but we're not gonna turn it all the way down. just enough so that we have a little bit of that click coming through. So just the tone. Brighter at top, darker on bottom. Let's leave it somewhere in the middle. Depth. speed two phase sliders probably not going to hear too much with this high pass and low pass if you want to filter out the click just a little bit before after let's mess around with the distortion on here just a little bit I'm gonna turn up the main level of the fundamental Now let's get into the noise. So this is going to control the high end of the kick. And then we have cutoff, which is going to control the filter. This will make it darker if we go lower. Resonance. Decay. Sounds better when it's extended out with the cutoff and resonance settings that we have. Speed. That makes it sound more like a real kick drum, like from an actual drum kit. This sounds more EDM, but for trap we want something in between. There we go, right there. D-I-R, maybe that's direction. We're 
We're gonna leave that right there. If you can't tell, I'm absolutely freestyling this. So this is my first experience with using this and we're just kind of randomly figuring this out as we go. So this tells you how easy it is or how difficult it is to get wrap your head around this. High pass. Right about there, sounds good. And low pass to darken it a little bit. Right about there. And let's play with the distortion here. and the overall level. And there you have it. That's what I would do to get a basic trap kick drum out of this plugin. Subscribe, like, comment, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.